Good morning, Borrowed Book fans. My name is Elizabeth Ludwig, and this is Chicago. Chicago was born with the arrival of its first permanent resident, a trader named John Baptiste Point Disable, who arrived in the late 1700s. In 1795, the U.S. government built Fort Dearborn at what is now the corner of Michigan Avenue and Wacker Drive. If you're visiting Chicago, look for the bronze markers in the pavement. Incorporated as a city in 1837, Chicago was ideally situated to take advantage of the trading possibilities created by the nation's westward expansion. The completion of the Illinois and Michigan Canal in 1848 created a water link between the Great Lakes and the Mississippi River, but the canal was soon rendered obsolete by railroads. As Chicago grew, its residents took heroic measures to keep pace. In the 1850s, they raised many of the streets five to eight feet to install a sewer system and then raised the buildings as well. Unfortunately, the buildings, streets, and sidewalks were made of wood and most of them burned to the ground in the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. The Chicago Water Tower and Pumping Station at Michigan and Chicago Avenues are among the few buildings to have survived the fire. Chicago rebuilt quickly. Much of the debris was dumped into Lake Michigan as landfill, forming the underpinnings for what is now Grant Park, Millennium Park, and the Art Institute of Chicago. Did you know? The historic Route 66 begins in Chicago at Grant Park on Adams Street in front of the Art Institute. Nowadays, nearly three million people make their home in the Windy City. It's the third largest city in the United States, sprawling over 237 square miles of land, dozens of cultural institutions, historical sites and museums, plus more than 200 theaters and nearly 200 art galleries are located here. Add more than 7,300 restaurants and 26 miles of lakefront, and it's easy to see why nearly 40 million people visit Chicago annually including a few of my friends, Carla Stewart, Danica Favorite McDonald, Nancy Ferrier and Sandra Bishop, and Annalisa Donner. Looking for a thrill in the Windy City? Check out 10 Plagues by Mary Neely, or visit her at maryneely.blogspot.com. We think you'll be surprised to find an old friend, or maybe even make a few new ones.